This is Dirty Money. Our six players today are Michelle Phillips, a banking officer from Essex. Mark Stansfield, a music manager from South London. Sharon Brown, an account coordinator from Oxfordshire. Niraj Kapoor, a sales executive from Middlesex. Paula Taylor, an information manager from Manchester. And Kevin Jameson, a marketing officer from Leeds. They're all playing for dirty money. These six people each have £500. They want to turn it into three grand. To do that, they must steal it from their opponents. The rules are easy and the game is dirty. I will ask you questions and if you buzz in with a correct answer, you can take £50 off someone else's money. If you get it wrong, you must give £50 of your own money to one of your competitors. At the end of 90 seconds, the player with the least amount of money in their account is out. It's time to play Dirty Money. The clock is ticking. How many legs does a bumblebee have? Paula. Four. Wrong. Six. Give to. Uh, Michelle. Michelle gained 50 pounds. Who was the last communist leader of the Soviet Union? Mark. Gorbachev. Correct. Steal from. Michelle. Michelle lose 50 pounds. What is the name of Adina's daughter in the TV series Absolutely Fabulous? Michelle. Sefi. Correct. Steal from. Um, Mark. Mark lose fifty pounds. Which is the world's smallest continent? Uh, Niraj. Antarctica. Wrong. Australia. Oh. Give to. Um, I'll give to Mark. Mark gain fifty pounds. The Davis Cup is a series of competitions. Uh, Kevin. Tennis. Correct. Steal from. Uh, Michelle. Michelle lose fifty pounds. How many years does a biennial flower live for? Two. Which is the oldest university in Scotland? Uh, Kevin. St Andrews. Correct. Steal from. Sharon. Sharon Lewis, £50. What was the name of the Beatles' own record label? Uh, Kevin. Apple. Correct. Steal from. Mark. Mark Lewis, £50. In which mountain range does Mount Everest lie? Uh, Michelle. Himalayas. Correct. Steal from. Um. Niraj. Niraj lose £50. Time is up. Kevin. <laughs> Good Hello. round. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, it was quite a shock uh, to actually get one or two correct. Any special tactics? Um, well, it was kind of on a just an impulse thing, really. I've got a nervous twitch in my thumb, uh, which accidentally set the buzzer off, and it just so happened I knew the answer to them questions. So that was quite lucky, really. Michelle, why did you choose to put out Niraj? instead of Sharon or Paula? It's a really uh, girl power thing. We're going to stick together, I think. Well, hopefully, they feel the same. Niraj, where did it all go wrong, mate? Um, I think it was when I got out of the house into the car this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. I'm just, um, I knew the answers, but I'm just a bit slow at reacting to them, unfortunately. Have you got any hard feelings towards Michelle? No, I, th I think it was an honest mistake. I mean, obviously, the game's called Dirty Money. It's not called best friend's money, so I understand that was I was okay. Because Niraj, you're the lowest scoring player and you're out of the game, but you still have £400 and you must now give that money to one of your opponents. You probably don't want to, but that's the game. Niraj, who's going to inherit your money? I'm going to give the money to Kevin. So you're giving it all to Kevin, why? Yeah, well, it was either going to be Kevin or Mark because I, I've really... They've been great guys, and Kevin has made me laugh so much. It's, it's worth at least 400 quid how much he's made me laugh today. Oh! So. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> what do you say about that, Kevin? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have become like brothers now, so, you know, what's mine's his, as far as I'm concerned. That goes for you all. <laughs> <laughs> Niraj, your account is empty. For you, it's game over. Right then, at the start of round two, there are only five players left, fighting over the three grand. Kevin, you were in the lead with £650. And thanks to Niraj's donation, you now have £1,050 in your account. Sharon and Paula, 
you're both in last place with just £450. If either of you are still there at the end of the next round, you're out. It's time to play Dirty Money and the clock is ticking. Who wrote the 1950 novel A Town Like Alice? Neville Shute. What was the surname of the pioneering aviator brothers Wilbur and Orville? Kevin. Right. Correct. Steal from? Uh, Michelle. Michelle lose £50. In monetary terms, what does FTSE stand for? Michelle. Financial Times Stock Exchange. Correct. Steal from? Kevin. Kevin lose £50. What is the name of the housekeeper in the TV comedy series Father Ted? Kevin. Mrs Doyle. Correct. Steal from? Michelle. Michelle Lou's £50. Belgium is bordered by the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Germany and which other Euro... Kevin. France. Correct. Steal from? Sharon. Sharon Lou's £50. Which West End musical is loosely based on the opera Madame Butterfly? Sharon. Cats. Wrong. Miss Saigon. Give to... Uh, Paula. Paula gain £50. Black Widow, Funnel Web, uh, Kevin. Spiders. Correct. Steal from Paula. Paula lose £50. The Watchtower is the official publication. Uh, Paula. Jehovah's Witnesses. Correct. Steal from uh, Kevin. Kevin lose £50. Who directed the 1985 film uh, Sharon? Steven Spielberg. Wrong. Sydney Pollock. Give to uh, Paula. Paula gained fifty pounds. The time is up. Kevin, hello. Another great round. Well, you know, I'm just. I think I'm just beating them all just to a fraction of a second to the buzzer. And also, when I came in before and rigged the buzzers, I think that might help too. <laughs> you picked on all three lasses. Uh, oh, did I? Oh well. Well, I have, I have a kind of, I have a blindness to Mark, you see. Anyone called Mark, I can't see them too well, so it was just the other three that I could see. Sharon. Yeah. You seemed a bit amused at the end. Why were you laughing? Um, well, I guess the only director that I really know is Steven Spielberg, so I just went with that one. I hadn't even said the name of the film. Yeah, well, I was just getting there quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd beat you to it. Sharon, you have the least amount of money. You're out of the game. You still have 300 quid, but it sadly no longer belongs to you because you've got to give it to one of your opponents. Are you going to give your money to Michelle? Yes, I am going to give it to Michelle. I think girl power. I think the boys have got something going on there. But, yeah, it's going to be Michelle. I think Paula's doing very well on her own. Hey, Michelle, what do you say about that? Thank you very much. I need the help. <laughs> but, Sharon... Your account is empty for you. It's game over. So, at the start of round three, there are only four players left fighting over three grand. Kevin, you're still in the lead with £1,150, but thanks to Sharon's donation, Michelle, you now have £800. Mark, you're in last place with £500. If you're still there at the end of the next round, you're out. It's time to play Dirty Money. The clock is ticking. What type of wood is a cricket bat traditionally made uh, from? Michelle. Willow. Correct. Steal from? Uh, Kevin. Kevin lose £50. The compound sodium chloride is... Uh, Paula. Salt. Correct. Steal from? Kevin. Kevin lose £50. In 1952, where did the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II take place? Mark. Westminster Abbey. Correct. Steal from? Paula. Paula lose £50. What is the name of David and Victoria Beckham's son? Mark. Bro Brooklyn. Correct. Steal from? Paula. Paula lose £50. Cardigan Bay lies on the coast of which European country? Paula. Sorry, no. Wales give to? Uh, Michelle. Michelle gain £50. In the children's story Peter Pan, what was the name of Captain Hook's ship? Uh, Kevin. Uh, Jolly Roger. Correct. Oh. Steal from? <laughs> God, that was wrong. Um, I'll steal from Paula. Paula lose £50. In which process do plants use energy from the sun? Uh, Kevin. Is it photosynthesis? Correct. Steal from? Michelle. Michelle lose £50. 
Who was the leader of the NUM at the time of the miners? <laughs> Kevin. Arthur Scargill. Correct. Steal from Paula. Paula Lou's fifty pounds. Which movie muscle man played Mr. Freeze? Paula. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Correct. Steal from Kevin. Kevin Lou's fifty pounds. Time is up. Kevin, another good round. Once again, stealing money from the girls. Well, you know, I kind of felt sorry for Mark because, um, you know, he's just kind of, you know, plodding along there. But I just, you know, felt a little bit sorry for him. Not in a patronising way, just uh, in a kind of brotherly way. Um, and I saw the other girls were kind of uh, answering quite a lot, so I thought I'd uh, peg them back slightly. Is your name on the check? Oh, no, no. Um, maybe on the back if one of them scribbled down my phone number. But uh, not on the kind of payee bit, no. Mark, you're keeping quiet. I know, you haven't spoken to me yet. <laughs> <laughs> Is this lads against the lasses then? Not at all, no. Who do you think's going to win? Uh, I think Kevin's probably going to win. Hey, Paula, the boys went for you, didn't they? They did. Hard luck. Thank you. You should finish that round as the lowest scoring player. Hey, guess what? You're out. <laughs> Now, before you go, you still have 400 quid, but you've got to give that to one of your opponents. Now, to help you, I can tell you in that round, Kevin and Mark both stole 100 pounds from you. Nobody gave you anything. But you know what I'm going to ask you? Who is going to inherit your money? Is Kevin going to inherit your money? No chance. <laughs> Why no chance? Well, because he's out in the lead and he needs a bit more competition, I think. What about Michelle? It's all going to Michelle, yes. Why? Well, I was going to give it to Mark to even it out a bit, but based on what Mark said, then I've got to play girl power. What do you say, Michelle? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm now out there to, uh, to start giving Kevin a bit of a game. Hey, Mark, what do you think of that, mate? I don't know what to say. I'm flummoxed <laughs> by the whole thing. <laughs> Paula, your account is empty. For you, it's game over. Three down, three to go. One of them will be playing for three grand. Find out who gets the dirty money after the ads. <laughs> 